everybody, welcome back to educator.com. And today's lesson will be covering rests. So rests are silence. And our lesson objectives will be really dividing this rest up into amounts of silence that we can understand. So we have different values, different amounts of time we hold the rest for. We have whole rests, half rests, quarter rests, eighth rests, sixteenth rests, and thirty-second rests. Um, there are rests that last longer and shorter, but that's pretty complicated, so we'll just stick to the amounts I just announced, and that's enough. And then we'll also explore where to write the rests on the staff, where is a good place to put the rests so that visually it's within the flow of the other notes and other rests that are happening. So we're starting with whole rests, which a whole rest, if we're in the time signature of 4-4, four, four, is going to be four counts of silence. And the whole rest lives here. If we count the lines of the staff, one, two, three, four, five, the whole rest lives right below the line that's second from the top in both staffs. Okay, if we are in the time signature of three, four, then a whole rest equals three counts of silence. It's however many, the maximum amount of counts that you're in at the time signature. So if we're in two, four, your whole rest will be two counts. Okay, so let's move on to half rests. Half rests are two counts in four, four, And in every time signature, they live on the middle line of the staff. They're worth two counts of rest. And it looks like a hat. So in 4-4, four, four, you'll have that rest plus two beats, like that. So here's a half rest. And actually, I won't write that yet. Quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Two counts of silence. So let's play a little bit. <clears throat> so going back with the whole rest, as you remember, it's four counts of silence. Or if you're in the time signature of three, it's three counts of silence. So here's a couple of, um, here's an octave, B octaves. So we're going to play for four counts. One, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four. Those are whole rests. Four. If we're in the, the time signature of three, we'll count three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's basically just as many beats of silence as there are beats in the measure. For the half rest that we were just exploring just now, we need two counts of silence. So in the time signature of four, four, we'll take an F sharp. So one, two, half note, I'm playing for two counts, and I'm resting for two counts. This is what it sounds like, one, two, rest, two. That's how long a half rest is. If we're in three, a half rest will be one, two, so it'll be like one, rest, one, rest, rest. Let me write down what I just played. So in the time signature of three, here's three, four, Here's a quarter note and a half rest. I did that two times. That's what I just played. One rest, rest, one rest, rest. It's just a black box. It looks di different from the whole rest, and that's important, and a really, really important distinction. So as you remember, the whole rest lives here on the underside of the second line from the bottom of the staff, bass or treble clef. The half rest lives on the middle line of the staff. And it looks a little bit like a hat. If you drew a line underneath of it, it would look like a hat. Okay, moving on. Quarter rests. They're worth one count, no matter what time.